I think that this offers a tool that is sustainable in the neonatal intensive care setting, which is important. I think this uh, offers a tool that um, is easy for caregivers to use. We don't yet know when to provide some of the interventions that are evidence-based in the neonatal intensive care setting because the timing of these interventions is very difficult because the neonates vary so much. So we set out to develop a system that might uh, better time these interventions based on the infant's clinical status and not just based on the infant's age because Infants at the same age tolerate very different things. The interventions that are provided in the eye rainbow are all evidence-based, which is great. And what we've done is assigned different clinical indicators to each grouping of interventions so that um, we are following the baby's medical, physiological, behavioral maturity and timing those interventions and matching those interventions uh, to that versus just gestational age or postmenstrual age. Some infants are honestly so critically ill when they come out that even just talking to the infant can be disruptive enough that their vital signs can become unstable. And so we start with really the infant who is the most critically ill and we offer an activity that can be done for that infant and for that family. And then we move up as the infant is more clinically stable. We add voice as, a, as an intervention. We add touch as an intervention. We add um, holding. Some infants initially are actually too ill to be held by their parents. So we have recommendations around infants who would be stable enough to be held. And then once you get into the later stages, it's actually very fun, Peter, because we have what I call a developmental menu. And it's kind of like going out to lunch, uh, but it's a, it's a lunch of developmental activities. And it's really great in the last two stages because it's sort of parent's choice. And there's a bunch of different developmental activities that would be good for a baby who has that clinical picture and parents get to choose.